Yeah, it runs like a top. From Tin Lizzie to the General Lee. We're gonna get the box set on today. Sometimes a vehicle. Okay, let's set her down. Can adopt a personality. Well, it has some stories it could tell, I'm sure. But this ermine white 62 Chevy three quarter ton That's fleet right. side pickup. They think he's crazy. Isn't close to being the most interesting character. There's no denying that. To roll into the lives of the Lundin family <laughs> of Grantsburg, yeah. Wisconsin. You're not going to meet another person like him. He was here for the entire school year. Klaus Kono was a foreign exchange student from Norway who unpacked his bags in Grantsburg in 1990, <laughs> but couldn't stop traveling. He loves to drive. No matter the vehicle. The lawn was never so short. Klaus was behind the wheel. He wouldn't even turn the blades on sometimes. He'd just go out and ride around, do laps. Drive back around. But as much as he loved the mower, oh, he everything heard. changed the day Klaus discovered the truck. It wasn't a Corvette or a sports car or anything like that. It was an old farm truck. An old farm truck covered in dust and loaded with junk when Klaus first saw it parked in a shed at the place next door. But for some reason he just fell in love with it. No sense could be made of it then or now, but Klaus was as determined to buy the old truck as its Swedish-American owner, Gustav Peterson, was determined to keep it. And Klaus was constantly needling him to get that truck. Why he wouldn't sell it? I don't know. He just... He never did, never did. Klaus went back to Norway. The years passed, but he never stopped thinking about that truck. Right up to the day, Gustav Peterson went into a nursing home. Here she is. And Craig Lundin placed the winning $500 bid huh? at the auction. No, it's no pretty girl until now. After two and a half years of restoration, Craig is nearly ready to declare the job complete. Yeah, I think that'll work. But this story isn't close to being finished. It just started and it just keeps going. It's not over yet because he doesn't have a home. So let's look and see if his flight's up here. When Craig and Nancy signed up for an exchange student, oh, they committed God. for just one year. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Bye, <laughs> but they'd no more let go of Klaus than Klaus just a stop. was letting go of his dream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to see the truck. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for since I was 16, actually. So it's about time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Ah. This is beautiful. Klaus wired the money for the parts and material. Excellent. Excellent. You like? I really do. Good. That's this good. <laughs> Craig provided most of the labor. Oh, excellent. And the love. Starting, starting. 18 years ago, for reasons difficult to understand, <laughs> a boy from Norway fell in love with an American. <laughs> I think he's happy. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm going to rule the streets of Oslo. This is excellent. Not a bad way to end this story. <laughs> this night in this Grantsburg garage. I rule so much. But how could we not come back in the morning? You got to love this. <laughs> After a week in Grantsburg, Klaus and his truck will hit the road for New York <laughs> and onto a ship bound for Norway. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, wow. In the land of 10,000 stories. And it takes a little while to heat up. This one belongs to an old farm truck with an ocean in front of it and a 160 horse personality <laughs> behind the wheel. Ah, excellent. <laughs>